Bokeh Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. China defending uh, its increase, 34% increase in the trade with North Korea, especially in light of the UN sanctions. And China is saying, as we mentioned yesterday in our broadcast, that this was something that, uh, or 31.4%, I should say there, that they were doing for humanitarian purposes. We brought this out last night, but as I've been looking at this a little bit closer, we know that President Trump is doing his uh, uh, the, the Eastern uh, tour there through these uh, areas, China, uh, South Korea, etc. And uh, he is going as well to try to change China's opinion about this issue. Uh, and then today, when Sebastian Gorka was speaking on Fox News, this got posted here. He's actually talking about uh, the situation. And he said as he left the president's office, uh, just before he left, he said President Trump told him he doesn't want to go to war with North Korea, that that is his absolute last option that is on the table. So I'm kind of hopeful that that is really in sincerity. And I kind of believe that President Trump would not want to, but no doubt the deep state would rather go to war in order to make a little bit more money on its weapons and maybe show off a few new weapons uh, that they have in stock, something they haven't been able to do as much uh, since the Iraqi war. So we'll have to kind of see how that plays out and which direction that goes in there. Also, Reuters, of course, like I said, uh, says here that... Uh, President uh, Trump is going there to try to persuade uh, uh, President uh, Xi Jinping during his visit there to impose those stricter sanctions on North Korea. Now, North Korea is also claiming, though, that this uh, there is a provision in the U.N. Uh, charter, though, that when it comes to humanitarian purposes, that, you know, there is a right to be able to continue to bring foods in so it does not hurt the people. I think that is an honorable thing. Uh, but, you know, there is a lot, though, calling on in Washington that all aid be cut off completely. Basically, let everybody suffer so they turn on their own president. Uh, that I don't see that happening. Regardless, it seems like their resolve would just be that much greater to, to do just the opposite. And also Defense One, their website, defenseone.com, exclusive U.S. preparing to put nuclear bombers back on a 24-hour alert. This is something that hasn't happened since the Cold War. And of course, they're doing so not just because of North Korea, but the fear of having to possibly go to war with North Korea, China, and even Russia. And again, I think this whole issue when it comes to China and the possibility of going to war, uh, China going to war with North Korea just is not something that's on the radar. If China cares enough about the people of North Korea to send in 31.4% more trade than usual in August, uh, and of course, continuing to, to send in food supplies, etc. It could be that China sending in more than just food supplies. That could be, if it's that big of an increase, maybe there's something embedded in amongst that there. So, uh, and don't forget, we reported how China had one of their own cars sitting on the tarmac there during one of the launches of the ICBM in North Korea there. So there may be more that meets the eye with China and North Korea, and this may be exactly why the U.S. is putting, uh, uh, considering putting the B, B, uh, the B, B, I'll get it right in a minute here, <laughs> the B-52 bombers back on a, uh, uh, on a to-fly posture not seen since the Cold War, as the article brings out. Barksdale Air Base in Louisiana, the U.S. Air Force, is preparing to put nuclear-armed bombers back on a 24-hour ready alert, a status not seen since the Cold War ended in 1991. That means the long, dormant concrete pads at the ends of the base, 11,000-foot runways dubbed the Christmas tree for their angular markings, uh, could once again find several B-52s parked on them laden with nuclear weapons and set to take Take off at a moment's notice there. We are definitely living in a very tumultuous time. Uh, just absolutely no other way to look at it but that. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.